Hey, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk about uh, something called mental diets. Because let's be honest, there are times in our lives when our minds are pretty much our worst enemies. And usually, and strangely, the sad part about all of this is that it's happening more often than not. It's For most people, it's actually the norm that their mind is their worst enemy. Now, how does that exactly happen? Well, it's because of all the negative thoughts that are going on inside of here, you know, inside of our consciousness. So a mental diet, right? You see, if you think about a diet, when it comes down to what you eat in a day, it means you only eat specific foods and you leave out certain other foods. So if you are severely overweight and your diet consists of eating thousands and thousands of calories of junk food every day, well, then a doctor would say you would have to stop that if you want to, you know, become healthier. You would have to cut down on your calories and you have to also cut down on all the junk food. So it's easier to maintain a healthy caloric intake on a daily basis. Now let's think of a mental diet. That means that mentally we're going to change a couple of things around. And this right here is something that I'm deciding to do for myself actually since last week I, I wanted to do this way earlier again because sometimes this is what I call mental house cleaning you know you're gonna get rid of some negative crap that is going on in there in order to become better at what you do and also become happier in life so what we're gonna do here is we're going to deliberately start thinking in optimistic terms on a daily basis we're no longer going to digest the negative thoughts about ourselves and our potential have you ever considered doing that because if you would you know it doesn't take a smart person to realize that you, probably your life would change tremendously for the better. Like, you might not even realize how many times a day you spend thinking in negative terms. So one way to start a mental diet is to first make a couple of notes for yourself throughout one or two days, you could say. You could even take a whole week if you want to prepare longer for this. But the idea is to analyze first, what am I thinking about in general? Like most people don't even stop and consider. What am I thinking about? What you're going to find out is that you probably are thinking about a lot of negative things about concerning this world, concerning stuff that you might see in the news that you hear other people talk about, or what's going on in the world. Right? You know, all kinds of areas in life that can be a big problem for us and can drag us down if we don't watch out. Then when you have that clear about what your tendency is on a daily basis, you will most likely have more and more evidence and insights on why it is so useful and important to start a mental diet to really retrain your mind to think in optimistic terms. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Of course not. I have negative thoughts. All of us have them. They actually just randomly can float into your mind. Sometimes I just work and stuff and out of nowhere, I'm, a negative thought hits me and I'm like, I kind of feel like it wants to drag me down, but then I have to remind myself, no, it's not worth, you know, it's not worth spiraling downwards because of this negative thought. So at all costs, I have to let it go. I have to just keep focusing my mind on where I do want to go and on the positive in my life. So therefore, if you were to learn to think optimistically in a habitual way, on a habitual manner, right, on a daily basis, then you could quite literally say that your mind has become your best friend. But as long as it's full of negative stuff, and even if it's only... Sometimes, you know, you could say if it's sometimes negative, it's only natural, it's only life. But if it is too much, right, if it's dragging you down your own mind, your own way of thinking, well, then it's your worst enemy. It's it's worse than, a f than, than any physical enemy could be for you. Because if you face someone physically, well, they could overpower you, they could destroy you, they could win from you, like all the silly games and wars, how that's going, right? Um, I mean, yeah, then, then you have an enemy there, but... If the enemy is inside your consciousness, right, it means that it's going to cause you not to enjoy your own existence nearly as much as you could and should as a great, you know, as this great creation of God, of the, you know, universal consciousness, whatever you want to call it. You and I, we have this consciousness through which we can think. And it's our duty to learn to think in a way that's conducive to our own life, to our own existence, that is going to uplift us, help us create a better world for ourselves and everyone around us. Because that's the beauty of this consciousness that we have. The sad part though is that when we are born and then go into the school system and in general in society, nobody takes the time to really 
consider what it means to have a consciousness. We just take it for granted. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm self-conscious, so what of it? Nobody really takes the time to think, what does it mean if I train myself to only think optimistically, right? What, what would really happen? You know, I can remember when I was young that people, you know, I had these hunches that maybe this is very important for us to learn, but then sometimes, you know, adults at the time would tell me that if you think optimistic all the time, that things might go terribly wrong for you because in their eyes, it meant I wasn't really paying attention to the world as it is. So, like, they thought that it meant that I wouldn't pay attention to any dangers that might show up, but I'm like, that's really not what we're talking about here. I mean, dangerous things can happen. You have senses, right? You have these five senses that help you to respond to that. Like, if, if something dangerous comes towards you, I mean, it's kind of silly to think, oh, this is not going to hurt me when it's clear that it's going to hit you. It's like, okay, well, maybe you're trained enough to turn off your own physical pain uh, receptors that's possible by the way but yeah that would be kind of silly let's be honest here we're not talking about that kind of attitude we are talking about thinking optimistically about yourself and your potential all day long every day you see how many people do you know that actually do this i don't know anyone that does it to be honest not right now personally i know i have friends and people that do study the mind and that they work on it in their own ways that's important as well but I've never really met anyone myself that would be thinking optimistically all day, every day. And with that, we mean, it doesn't mean that they have, they have never have negative thoughts. It just means that they are habitually focused on the positive side of life, on the positive things about themselves and their potential. Now, this is something that I think you would like to develop as well. I think you would benefit from it. I know I would. I mean, I don't know anyone that wouldn't benefit from this attitude. So that's what we're going to do with a mental diet. If you want to start your own mental diet and stop being your own worst enemy, all you have to do is take a couple days to a week to analyze first, what am I generally thinking about throughout my days? Then you'll see whether it's mostly positive or negative or a combination of both. Usually it's like in between, but in some cases and sadly many cases, it can lean very heavily into the negative side about all kinds of pessimistic ideas about yourself and life. That will give you an indication at least of where you're at. But then after that period of a couple days to a week, the goal is to then to consistently start thinking optimistically throughout your days for like 30 days in a row or longer. It depends on you and how long you want to do this. Ultimately, the goal is to do it consistently for the rest of your life, of course. But the goal is to practice consciously thinking optimistically about yourself. So for me, I wake up and instead of doubting in myself, I think to, I, I start to consciously think about why am I making these videos? And then I feel like, you know, I started this channel because I really want to help people think more successfully about themselves, like to have a better idea on the spiritual nature of themselves, about this power of consciousness. And then I can feel this renewed power rise up within me that is like, yeah, let's go, let's do this. Now, for me, that's optimistic thinking. That's thinking optimistically. Because if I don't do that, if I wake up and I'm like, oh, you know, what's to use? Maybe I should stop. I, that happened for a little bit. As I said in a previous video, I fell into that trap for a little bit. Now I realize, no, it's about me. Also, consciously and deliberately keep thinking optimistically about myself and my goals. And that helps me. It helps me tremendously to stay focused every day, to at least do something, to work on something that is in harmony with my dream. And that's all because my thinking has become more optimistic and what would happen in your life? Well, I can't tell you because I don't know what your dreams and goals are, but I can tell you that it will help you at least achieve them way more effectively and that's what it's all about. That's where you will find the joy and beauty beyond all life, within life itself. And that's so sad, right? Let's think about it. It's so sad that for many people, their minds have become their worst enemies. And it can be very subtle that they, they might not even notice it. They might think like, well, my life is totally fine. I don't know how it is my worst enemy. But then if you analyze a little deeper and you, you know, dig a little deeper in their conscience, there are dreams in there, perhaps, that they didn't dare pursue for whatever reason. They will come up with all kinds of reasons that they have made up inside their consciousness, which then shows that their consciousness is actually their worst enemy because it's not helping them to realize their dreams at all. Yet they have those dreams and the dreams are God-given. Now the purpose we feel burning within ourselves 
is actually given to us by God. It's what we are meant to do in this lifetime. So in order to do that, in order to express that, our consciousness has to be in harmony with the dream and we should think according to what the dream dictates. Then your mind is your greatest friend in the process. But every time you think negatively about yourself or your, your goals or your potential, whatever, it has to become a signal. Wait, I'm using my mind against myself. That means I'm using it as my worst enemy. Let me stop that. that, that that's not what it's about. I don't have to go along with that at all. And the more you practice this, the better you'll become at it. And then the greater the results will be for you. You know, the greater you're going to feel throughout your days. It's so wonderful. So absolutely wonderful. So good luck with that. God bless you. And as always, dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.